Another day, another Colosseum level 4 failed terribly. There's just too much RNG in these things. She goes blow for blow. I guess that actually, that phrase is incorrect, because that phrase tends to imply that someone is even with someone, you know, toe to toe, blow to blow, but no, she was sweeping them. All of them under the rug, bagged up the rug, threw them into the back of a truck, threw them into a, 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 a lake of bleach and lie. And then suddenly just, you know, she just gets this bad RNG and then she just misses three times and then she loses. Like, it's, it's, it's really, really freaking frustrating. <sighs> it still says a question mark, because again, any further evolution past this point is just going to be, I think, item based. I don't really know. I don't know what it means. We might do the take it today, depending on whether or not the event that we're about to encounter here is anything not too substantial. Let's have a look, see? Okay, what did we get? What did we get? Who, who dare? It's a, huh? Ugh. It's Big Face! What do we gotta do? Oh, we've accidentally gone and found, like, the battle encounter area already. Which is fine, we have 99 D power, so if, if Palmon's gonna go Togemon... God, don't glitch out my freaking screen, it's Lilymon! Okay, um... Oh, we don't have any Digivolutions for, for Armadillomon, no! We don't even have Gobbamon anymore! Well, the only one that we can do DNA digivolving with is Wormmon and Vmon, so yeah, I'm feeling Paledramon right now. I'm feeling a little pale, a little flush. You know, you know what I'm saying? A little wordplay right there, huh? What, what? Why? <gasps> the Dark Towers again? Are you serious? The Dark Towers again! Every map I have to redo the Dark Tower thing, but the last map I went to, the, deck, the Dark Tower was destroyed. Why is it back? I guess there's just another one. <sighs> All right, here we go, remember? Big shakes. That seems to I guess you really just gotta like, keep it close to you and just imitate the real life motions, yeah? Cause now we're gonna, di now we're gonna die. Oh my God. We might as well leave from this place. I should have known. It's so random, but I just thought maybe, maybe it'd be like the first map where the first place we went to was the Dark Tower, and then the next map was the Digimon Village, and then the, finally the third map was this thing. But nope! Now it's all topsy turvy and backward! Oh, Ooh! It just, it's just gonna be hard mode from here on out, folks. I should have known that Daemon fight was the sign of harder times. Please don't break my noodle egg. Please don't break my noodle egg. Please don't break my noodle egg. Oh, thank God, it's all I have in this world. It's all I have. <laughs> oh my knee! Oh my knee! Yeah, no one's buying it. See, you don't need a you don't need a band aid. Only 500 more steps. Oh gee, oh gee, why wouldn't I try that a second time? Okay, well it's either going to be a dark tower or it's going to be a Digimon village. And if they're going to go through all the trouble of putting a new dark tower in there, then they're going to give me a new Digimon village that actually increases my stats more. They'd better, or else I'll riot. Yeah, <laughs> camera, please. Well, that was dumb. Let's go ahead and use that evil ticket thing. The thing that supposedly is gonna give me a ba- Ooh. Ooh, it's a nasty battle. Who the hell is that? It just looks like a Power Ranger bad guy. Like a monkey guy. All right, all right, buy the books. Buy the books! Yeah, buy the books. Okay, so, provided- Oh, she doesn't even have the option to use her- Oh, she does have the option to use her thing. I don't know who this is, but I know they're a powerful opponent. Let's go ahead and use the- Sure, let's go ahead and use the flower thing. Go! Ooh. That was so good. I, Frozemon, I, I, I'm I, sorry. I kind of thought that- <laughs> I, I, I thought we would need it. I, I thought we would need a lot of- I, I thought this was going to be difficult. Okay. So we got some, some digital speak. Wait, so we got that part of the ticket. What the heck does that mean? We just keep that part of the ticket? <gasps> Can I use it? Oh, you know what? I bet we got to beat the white thing too. Okay, to the shop. Okay, the rare item shop. So we had bought this one. Now we need to buy the D1 ticket. Oh, the, the D1 ticket? No money. Excuse me? No money? I have some money, thanks. I have 655 P's. Okay. Ah, oh, boy. Well, hey, I got a couple packages in the mail. One of them is this odd green tea and dirt color package that I got from Tsiung Kwan Kowloon Hong Kong. Wait, Kowloon's a real place? Huh. That's the name of a place in Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth. And the other one straight up comes from Japan Post. I'm gonna open, I'm gonna open this box, okay? I'm gonna open it now. 
Rosemon, it's not time to poop. God dang it. Everyone watch closely. Oh, it's awful. That's filthy. Okay, so we're gonna start with the package from Japan you want. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure I know what these are. I saw a couple of used digital pets on there. They were pedometer based and, uh, well, quite frankly... Oh, no, wait, this one's new. Oh, 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 oh yeah. Okay, so, uh, firstly, inside the package, of course, I get that cute thing. I get whatever the heck this is. Is that a sticker? That's a cutie right there is what it is. I can't keep up with all these god dang finangled Tamagotchis. I know of these characters, what are these characters from the mix? Are they from the mix? Ooh, now isn't this fancy? They package both things in the same nice shrink wrapped. Wait, where's the opening? Ah, <gasps> look at how fancy that's folded. That's hand done. Straight from Japan you want. You'd really think they'd sponsor me by now. I got mostly good things to say about them. When it comes to new stuff, they tend to sell it for a little bit over what other people will sell it, but like used, vintage stuff, always a good price, and they always got your back. All right, there's a Hello Kitty. There's <laughs> a <It's a> freaking paint. <laughs> okay, so these are both pedometers. Um, this one is a Hello Kitty, a pocket Hello Kitty. I'm sure you'll recognize it because it does look an awful lot like the uh, Pocket Pikachu, right? So the name of the game with this Pocket Pikachu <laughs> is uh, similar to the Pocket Pikachu. You'll shake or step and you'll gain, a, uh, you know, the currency to make calls with Hello Kitty and the different calls that you make, she has a chance of uh, meeting new characters. There are item events and whatnot, like not just on the phone, I believe, but um, the goal of the game is to log information on all of Hello Kitty's friends by meeting them. So you walk and you walk and you walk and you just, you're basically trying to encounter different creatures and capture them, if you will. Not at all like Pokemon, of course. Very, very different. Very different. See, there's Hello Kitty giving her iconic hello on a phone, standing with a waffle. It just, it just standing there. I don't know, she could be up to something. I'm just trying to keep a nice healthy amount of the pedometer pets in the backlog so that way I can always be encouraged to walk. Also, there's this guy. It's Henshin Kanto. That, that's just its name, it's just... Only well, yeah, Henshin is a transform and uh... Wait, Henshin, right? Yeah, Henshin Kanto. So you got this little penguin dude, right? And uh, you, as you take steps, they'll transform into various things. So let's see. Tamago Jotai. That's the beginning, it's an egg. Akachan Jotai. There, when it's a baby. Koromo Jotai, this is when it's a kid. And then, uh, Kinoshita Beckham? Kinoshita Beckham? Undertree Beckham? Is this a character I don't under- is- Are they trying to make a reference to Be- Is he trying to bend it like Beckham? Although with this guy, I'm pretty sure it's like just stepping. There actually is very little information about this, and with how generic the name is, I'm sure you can imagine it's just really difficult to find any kind of like use information. So, yeah, if you want to see me use any of these, let me know. I will be at some point in the future, because, you know, eventually I'll want to give Digimon a break. All right, and then here's the one from the Hong Kong. Oh, this is crazy bubble wrap. Like, I, I feel like I, I'm, I need to wear like a mask and gloves while I'm opening this. Oh, and the smell of this thing. I wish you could smell this. It smells like a... Oh, it smells like an incense shop, but also really dusty. It's fine, it's just not the first thing I think of when I think of Digimon. So here's the Digimon Neo Pendulum. It comes with a star. This is super, is it star? Stamon? Metamon? Metamon? That just looks like Super Starmon. Bots is a little weird misshapen, but I, whatever. I, I can only complain so much. We'll check this out when the day comes. Just, you know, for the future. Another pede another pedometer, another pendulum type pet. Bladoop. 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 Good. We've got things. I've got <laughs> content, I guess. I'm honestly most excited for this, sadly. I've also got a Pocket Pikachu color on the way. It's a Japanese version, but uh, so it'll be it'll be a little bit like this, but uh, I know partially Tenley wanted this one because she also wanted a pedometer pet. I know, right? Freaking copying me. It's cool though. I know I make digital pets look cool because you know I'm hired by one of the by the secret digital pet cabal that wants to bring digital pets back into power so they can continue on their mind control quest. One day, I draw something because you all have such wonderful suggestions. But frankly, the day's getting on and I'm tired and I've got a lot to do. So, on a quieter day, hey Rosemon, yep, just just keep discoing, just keep discoing, and Vmon, you keep. You, 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 just, you just keep white boy dancing. Thanks for coming by, I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good one!